Forensic pathologist Dr. Steve Naidu said based on witness reports, Agat died between the late evening of the 4th of February and early the next morning. He criticized the doctor's handling of Agat's body and the autopsy. Naidu detailed his injuries. Dr. Kemp described it as fresh. He was quite uh, firm and uh, confident about it being fresh. Uh, he called triangular, three by three by three, said, said Mr. Shah. We can triangular, so maybe somewhat like an equilateral triangle. Um, he further said it was due to being a pinching type of injury. It, it would have been very recent. It would have been just before his death. A bruise can develop within, within, within a several minutes. Naidu said several of the injuries Agat had complained about would not necessarily have shown up in the autopsy exam. As it was conducted very soon after his death, bruising would not have begun to form. Hours before his body was found hanging in his cell, Agat made a written complaint detailing the torture and injuries he had suffered. He said security police beat him, threw him against the walls and desks, handcuffed him and electrocuted him. They deprived him of sleep, forcing him to exercise to exhaustion and squeezed his genitals. Despite the absence of physical injury at the autopsy, this may still have been uh, due to manual constriction of the testis, squeezing of the testicles. It probably would have been painful and tender enough for a, 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 a victim to have to walk with a wide-legged gait simply just to gently nurse this very sensitive area. Um, so, it's, of course, we all know it's a sexual humil humiliation in a male. Um, and with rapid recovery of symptoms, though, the emasculation is, uh, uh, the psychological emasculation is much longer though. Naidu highlighted several irregularities in the handling of the autopsy. Raising the alarm, not only for the purpose of the patient, but also for the, uh, about the issue if this was unlawful abuse, definitely. The inquest continues on Monday with testimony from Keith Coleman. He was detained at then John Foster police station at the same time as Agate.